Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Need Money from PGC, and I got this tutorial here to show you how to get this pretty sweet looking Android um, theme for your iPhone 4 or 3GS. Not really sure if it works for iPhone first gen or the 3G, but I guess you could try. Um, so anyways, here's what you have to do. Uh, basics first, you need to have your iPhone jailbroken, and you need Cydia and Winterboard, of course. Um, big surprise. Next of all, you need to go into Cydia, and there are a total of, I think, six things you have to download. Okay, so loading data. Uh -huh. Wait for it to load. Okay. So, the first thing you have to download is something called HTCFX. HTCFX. That's how you spell it right there. HTCFX theme. You should already have all the sources uh, uh, that you need to download all these things. So, um, don't have to um, add any sources or anything like that. So, this is the first thing you have to download. HTCFX theme. From Cydia. Next thing you need is something called the Casio 2 theme. The Casio 2 theme. Um, it's another theme, so download that. I'll have all these things uh, in the description down there if you forget. Uh, the next thing you need to download is Five Icon Dock. If you don't have this already, uh, Download it even if you're not gonna um, use this theme. A uh, five icon dock is very useful. Uh, so instead of having like the regular four, you get five icons, it just makes everything easier to access, I guess. Yeah. So download five icon dock, anyways. Um, and now another thing you have to download uh, is something called iBlanks or iBlank. I blank right here. Uh, it's a it's an app that allows you to create blank icons. I'll show you why this is important uh, in a minute. Uh, the next thing you have to download is iFile right here. iFile from Big Boss. So you download that, and uh, this is sort of optional, but unless you want to SSH your phone from your computer. Um, I would just recommend downloading iFile anyways. And here's the last thing. This is completely optional. Um, I actually don't like using this part or this part or this theme, whatever. It's called Gray HD. Um, basically makes every icon that's not affected by the Casio 2 theme or the HTC FX theme have a black border around it. Uh, I actually don't like using it because it doesn't it makes everything look a little um, unprofessional, if that's, uh, yeah, but uh, if you want, you can download Gray HD theme, if you wish, uh, just to see what it looks like. I personally don't use it. So yeah, after you've downloaded everything, the next step you want to go into is you want to go into Winterboard. Winterboard. So I have mine in my settings. Select themes. So here are the things you have to uh, check on Winterboard. No icon shadows from iBlanks. Uh, HTC FX. Casio 2. Gray HD if you want it. And uh, where is it? Um. Yeah. And then after that. I'll show you uh, how to get the what Gray HD actually looks like. So I'll just respring this for you. And um, you also want to put on, or I think it's already set for you, 5 icon dock. So yeah, uh, I'll just show you what Gray HD looks like. It doesn't actually look that good. Okay, so let's respring it. And uh, this is basically what your lock screen will look like. You'll have this ugly slider here. Um, that's why I don't really use it. You go log in. You can't really see your text. Can you see that? Uh, sort of, I guess. But you can't really see it, so 
Um, wait, let me just enter it. And this is what it does to your uh, apps. It creates this black border around your apps. It doesn't look that good, so I just personally decide not to use it. Okay. So um, afterwards, you'll notice that uh, hey, my icons are still like pages after page and stuff like full pages, and your dock down here um will be pretty squished together. You'll have your Safari, your phone, your music, um, the music icons like the phone icon and uh, mail. So uh, basically here's what you want to do first. You want to go into program called I, I blanks um, I blank right here. So I don't know why I have to, oh it's top hit. Alright so you want to go into I blanks here and for each page you want to generate eight blank icons. So right here I have a I have eight blank icons right there one two three four four five six seven eight right there uh, so it will just like push those icons down and for each page you want to just have eight blank icons for each page like that and for your dock down here uh, the reason why you have five icon dock is so you can put um basically these are just icons here so your safari icon you want to put a blank icon here your phone icon then another blank icon, and then your mail icon, so everything doesn't look squished. Um, you want to take your music icon and just put it randomly somewhere. Uh, we'll deal with that later. So you want to just generate all the icons for each page, or however many pages you need. It's pretty long and tedious, but uh, it's worth it for this cool-looking theme. Um, so I'll just show you. You just go into I blank. Eight, create. All right, and just wait a bit, and then you'll have your blank icons. Move them up. All right. So next of all, um, what are you gonna do with that music icon? That huge ass music icon that's there. I don't have mine here. You can see mine's iPod right here. You can't see it. There, iPod. Right. So you're you're probably wondering, hey, how do I do? How do you do that? Well, well, well let me show you. This is what we have iFile for. So you want to go into iFile now. iFile. And let's start from the home. So what you want to do is go into this. Click this. There's a back arrow up there called VAR. Scroll down to until you see stash. And then themes. HTC effects and then icons. Now you'll have a whole bunch of PNG files right here, basically image files. Um, and you'll find an iPod.png file. Uh, basically all you gotta do is go edit, select that iPod.png file, and trash it. That's all you gotta do. Then after that, you respring your phone, and it should turn into this iPod, uh, iPod icon. And now you may be wondering, hey, the weather up here in my city, the weather, it's not, it's not what I want it to be. It's, it's New York, I think, um, and the temperatures in Fahrenheit. If you, if you're American, I guess Fahrenheit's good, but I'm Canadian, so um, I want to change Celsius, change my city and everything so have no fear you want to go into i file again so let's go back here back same place var stash themes back to the hdc effects theme hdc effects now you want to go into private here configure me.js and now what you'll see is right here uh the third line from the top uh it will be set to New York. Uh, it will say New York, uh, and comma space NY. I have mine set to Calgary, Canada, because that's where I live. But uh, originally, it will be set to New York. What you want to do is uh, just click Edit, select New York, or New York, comma. New York, I'm having trouble. 
right there. Okay. Backspace two times to get rid of NY, the state. And then type in either your state or the country you live in. Uh, unless you live in the states, of course. So if you don't live in the U.S., get rid of... Uh, type in your country instead of the state you live in. And then next you want to select the city, New York, backspace, delete New York, and type in the city you live in. So basically the city and then the state or country if you don't live in the states. The country, so yeah. Yeah, that sounds confusing. Um, so yeah, uh, and if you're a Celsius person and you don't live in the states again, and you like temperature in Celsius, you'll scroll down right there and you'll see something called VAR is Celsius equals false. You'll see that and basically what this is, it's like, do you like your temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit? So if it's in false and you like it in Celsius, this backspace, replace false with true and there you go. So here's what we've done. We've changed the city to the city you live in, um, city and country or city and state. And then we can change the, um, the unit of temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So that's what we just did there. Um, it's up to you what you want. So once you're done that, click done. Save, done, back, and here's where you want to respring your phone. So um, I have gray HD on. I don't like gray HD, so I'm just going to respring it and hit the whole thing in general. Uh, select themes, gray HD, winter board, respring. Okay, so we're back. Um, let me just enter my passcode. Okay, so now sometimes this will also happen. You'll have that qu giant question mark after you edit your city or and the temperature or whatever. So just don't worry. Um, just reboot your phone again until it works. So I'll just do it again. Okay, there we go. Um, so sometimes it may take a while. You may have to like reboot your phone again and go back into iFile, change it back to New York uh, or something like that. But eventually uh, you'll get it back to your hometown or city, wherever you live, and you'll have its temperature in the preference, in the temperature uh, unit preference of your choice. Um, it's 557 right now. 58. Um, I'll probably have to look back to see how long it took since uh, I last recorded. Because I had to turn my camera off, do this just for you guys. Um, another thing I also noticed was that HTCFX alters your settings, your calendar, and your photo icons. So basically, uh, what you can do, because they don't look as nice, you can just do what we did for the music. Go into iFile, um, iFile, so hang on, go to iFile, same thing, VAR, stash, uh, down to themes, HTC, icons, and then you'll have like a calendar, You'll have a calendar and a calendar backup or something, and then a photo and a photo backup. Delete the backup too. Delete calendar, photo, and your settings, setting uh, PNGs. Make sure you delete the right one. To make sure you delete the right one, just click Image Viewer and see uh, which one you're deleting. If it's the right one, edit, check, delete. Okay, guys, so uh, that's basically how to get the Android-looking theme. It's 6 o'clock right now, or close to 6 o'clock. So that's it guys, uh, hope you have a wonderful day, um, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, because this took quite a while to do, took a couple of retakes, so anyways yeah, see you next time guys.